Hello friends, today in this video we will see how we can draw Bresenham circle using Bresenham circle drawing algorithm in Qt Creator. So uh, as you can see that a circle is nothing but a 8 way symmetry figure. Here a circle, if we divide a circle into 8 equal parts that, that uh, 8 equal parts then the each octant that is this is the octant of a circle then the coordinates of each octant will be uh, just the change of sign of another octant for a change of sign and position for example we can see that the coordinate of this octant here is y by x then the coordinates of next octant will x by y and next coordinate will be x minus y then y minus x means the coordinates will remain same means the value of the coordinate let's say this is a one coordinate having value minus 2 comma 7 then the value will remain same for this coordinate but, but the uh, sign will change only it will be 2 comma 7 <coughs> for this coordinate it will be 7 comma 7 comma 2 for this below coordinate it will be 7 comma minus 2 okay and this will continue for all the 8 octants of the circle means if we want to draw a circle we only have to calculate the points of only one octant if we are able to calculate the points of this this octant starting from this to this means single octant of any octant of a circle then we will be able to draw whole circle so this is the this is called as eight way symmetry of a circle means a circle is eight way symmetry <clears throat> let's see Bresenham circle drawing algorithm so Bresenham circle drawing algorithm states that First, the very first thing is you have to take the center of a circle. After taking center a uh, center point of a circle, we just need to take the radius of a circle. Let's say this is the center of circle. Then this is the radius of circle. After taking center and radius r, uh, we need to assign two variable x variable and y variable. And uh, then set the decision parameter. So what is this decision parameter? Decision parameter is d equals to 3 minus 2 r. So decision parameter state that if x is increasing or not. For example, in this case, if you see this portion, our x is remaining same, but y, uh, sorry, our x is increasing, but y is remaining same. In this portion also, our x is increasing, but y is same. Here, when we are shifting from this point to another point these two points our y is decreasing here also our y is decreasing so decision parameter is the equation which will help us to increase uh, to uh, decide that we have to decrease y or not so this decision parameter is formula is d equals to 3 minus 2 r <clears throat> then we have to repeat through the step 8. 8 step is here draw circle means we have to recursively call the function to draw these points until until the p is smaller than q means this is, if this is our p this is our p then it is smaller than q okay now we will draw a circle using Bresenham so, uh, circle drawing algorithm so you can take a screenshot of this algorithm and go thoroughly how it works. This is simple. We just are in increasing from x side to y side. But while increasing we are just taking decision either we have to decrease the y or not in such a way that we can get the coordinates of all this one octant. Then after that by using 8-way symmetry we can draw another coordinates also. So let's implement this algorithm.
now we will see how we can implement Bayesian and circle algorithm uh, in Qt creator so for that I have created an image object here and uh, now I will create a code for Bayesian and circle the first of all I will define a method void me okay so I have declared method here void uh, B circle, B circle is nothing but Bresnan circle method which will draw circle. Now inside this, so decision parameter will be d equals to 3 minus 2 multiplied by r okay. x equals to 0, y equals to r i x is smaller than y we have to do the means we have to draw pixels of 8 coordinates so um, so dot comma y plus q comma q q q r z z z z z z Like that, I will just pass the copy paste all uh, for all pixels. Okay, now here I have uh, created the method or called the method for all the eight octants of a circle. Now the task is to find out the decision parameter for that. So for finding out decision parameter, if inside this while loop, if current decision parameter is smaller than zero, then uh, set d equals to d plus 4 multiplied by x plus 6 and uh, x equals to x plus 1 okay else set else set d equals to d plus 4 multiplied by x minus y plus 10 and uh, x equals to x plus 1 y equals to y plus y minus y minus 1 okay so if our decision parameter is smaller than 0 then x will increment only and if it is greater than 0 then the new decision parameter will be calculated x will be incremented and y will be decremented so after that i will call a method ui label set x min q x min from image ing okay Okay, now just we will add a click listener on the button so right click on the button go to slot click okay then we have to take point float p equals to ui ui text get to plain plain text to float okay now float Q equals to UI text git to to plain text dot to FLAD then load R equals to UI text edit to to plain text to float Now we will call this method on um, and circle on clicking the button. First we take from PQ that is center of circle from the user and radius from the user. Now we will run and see if our program works or not. this is as you can see circle is drawn so now to show you actually working of 8-way symmetry project 8-way uh, symmetry I will display you how you can use it okay so I will just add here a delay function when you see okay, I have already copied the delay function okay 
the delay function I have added. You can just copy this delay function, nothing more to explain in that delay function. Okay, so I will set the delay here in main window.cpt before and uh, after drawing all the iterate delay. Now you will be able to see how actually the circle is drawn. This will okay 250 250 so 250 250 means our center is here somewhere then 200 draw circle so this is how eight way symmetry is worked so this here is one octant here is one two three four okay 